histogram hi everybody now in this video we are going to talk about histogram one of the most frequently used uh, uh, quality control tool that we have in previous video we talked about box plot we talked about uh, we discussed when we use box plot um, when we use box plot what are its advantages now box plot was giving us idea of centering and variation and same and and, and, and histogram will also give us the same idea now so why should we use histogram and why not box plot answer is simple if you look at box plot box plot will just give you idea of variation in each quarter what box plot does, does is box plot will divide data into four equal parts and it will just help you understand the variation in each equal part now when you when you want to study variation of a process in detail maybe at that point in time box plot will be will not be of uh, great use at that point in time so there you can use histogram now what histogram does is in, instead of just uh, studying variation on uh, on, on uh, four equal parts histogram will help us study the variation of our process in larger number of bins in larger number of intervals we'll discuss all these jargons now let's just understand why do we use histogram we use histogram to study centering and variation of a process and along with that histogram will give us a couple of more information the first information that histogram will give you will be about the shape of the data it will help you understand whether your your data has normal shape or not it will help you understand whether your process is skewed or not whether your process is uh, positive where there is uh, a positive skewness in your data or negative skewness whether your process is process is skewed toward left or toward right and ultimately it will give you idea of peaks it will help you understand whether your process just have one peak or your process has has multiple peaks now now let's understand how do we uh, draw histogram and then how do we interpret therein i will show you uh, how this all interpretation can be made so now let's go to minitab first i have data here in minitab and this data is of same this data is of sales okay now so let's let's assume i want to study the process of sales i want to know how does the process of sales looks like so what i'll do is i'll go to graph in graph you can see here histogram and in histogram we have four options the first option is simple option second option is with fit option so the difference between a simple option and with fit option is that in with fit option you can see histogram with a fitted bell curve that, that that will help you understand that will help you show how close to normal your distribution is okay now uh, let me show you both first we'll go to simple and uh, I would select the sales okay and this is how I would get all right now if I go to graph and I go to histogram and instead of selecting this option if I select this option the only thing that will be added will be a bell curve see here this is the only difference in those uh, both option now let's understand how to interpret this 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 histogram so you see this these bars these bars do you see these bars now these bars are called bins bins means interval okay so if you put your cursor here you can see bar value is 3 and bin is 500 to 1500 that means there has been three instances there has been three employees there has been three people whose collection has been or whose sales has been in between 500 to 1500 dollars similarly now let's go here bar value 4 and bin $2,500 to $3,500 there has been four employees or four people whose collection has been in between $2,500 to $3,500 similarly let's go here seven people uh, people has their collection in between $3,500 to $4,500 and you see here there is only one peak okay and there is only one peak and you can see it's 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 not a very good fit a good fit because uh, still uh, i mean this this if this curve would, would, would have been bit 
uh, uh, to our left, then um, I believe it, it would have a good fit. It, it would have been a good fit, but as of now, this is not a very good fit. You can see here the mean of the process is 9,170 rupees. I'm sorry, dollars. Standard deviation is 3,092, and total number of data points is 304. So this histogram is first giving you idea about the distribution. It's, it's telling you whether your data is skewed or not. You can see this this distribution is not much skewed. Okay, uh, this is not skewed first. Secondly, it's it's giving you idea about peak. There is only one peak. Okay, and and third, it's it's giving you idea about the bin, about this variation. See. The uh, height of this bar shows the uh, shows the frequency. That means if I if I uh, put my cursor here, so maximum people they have their their sales is in between seventy five hundred dollar to eighty five hundred dollar, and number of people is fifty. That means fifty people has their collection between seventy five hundred dollar to eighty five hundred dollar. So this is how we interpret our our histogram. Okay, this gives us idea of variation. This gives us idea of centering. Now, uh, let me show you one more thing. If I go to graph, if I go to, let's say, histogram, if I select the same option, and if I go to, let's say, scale, uh, reference line, and now if I put my target, my target is at $10,000, and now if I do OK, see here, this is the this is the uh, uh, target that we got. Now, what does it, it, it represent? What is the takeaway? The takeaway is, you can see this is the target, and you can see majority of frequency, majority of people, their performance is, is near to the target. That means, there's a possibility if you work a little bit, then, then most of the people, they will meet their target of $10,000. Okay? So this is the takeaway in this case. So I hope histogram till now is clear. This will help you understand the shape. This will help you understand the, uh, the, the, the distribution. And this will help you understand the variation. Now, now let me show you a couple of more examples. Let, let me see if I have any data that is skewed. Uh, hope I get a skewed data. Now, let's say I'm, I'm going to utilization. Okay. I'm sorry utilization go to scale reference line my target was huge okay now let's see if I if I can see something now see you can see here this distribution is skewed okay you can see more data points lying far to our left right which is obviously negatively skewed so this way it will help you understand whether your distribution is skewed or not uh, whether the shape is normal or not and how is the variation and and the way you would look at variation would be same i think uh, iq range and range will be of great help will be of great help and at the same time uh, obviously iq range and range you will see that in box plot and obviously this this standard deviation will also help you in in, in understanding in comparing uh, the, the the variation you can see here uh, in this case the standard deviation is 7% Right, that means uh, the average variation in your utilization is 7%. I'm sorry, this data was in, in percentage form. Uh, ideally, I shouldn't have done this. Uh, this is I shouldn't have made this histogram on this data, but because I didn't have other data, so I, I, I thought to make this histogram uh, on this data. Now let's let's go to another option in histogram. In histogram, you see here we have. Uh, two option you can choose any one of these uh, two option okay and 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 we use this option when when we want to compare two histogram when we want to compare histogram of males and females when we want to compare histogram of uh, uh, say shift a shift b when we want to compare histogram of product a product b when we want to compare histogram of any two different process then we can use uh, this option so use here uh, data sales and go here use uh, say I want to use uh, let's use uh, uh, let's I'm using education okay okay 
see here you got three uh, graph and these all three graphs are coinciding so uh, the the moral of the story is there's there's no such difference because all these three graphs are coinciding all these three histograms are coinciding if you would have seen that one one histogram would, would have been like this like this and other would have been like say like this and other would have been like say this they would have said that performance of this this histogram was much better right but uh, for unfortunately i don't have such data at this point in time but this is how we 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 represent and we explain we interpret histogram hope this histogram session was useful thank you